I literally just hit the button to start talking. That melted off. Did you hit it? It's going. Oh. <laughs> but you might have to pull it back to, I don't want to sit in my chair and play this fish. <laughs> to keep our distance here spread out uh, it's not much of a social you know we're practically neighbors so you know we're not uh, straying far out of our community we're staying together and not bringing in big groups of people um, but we wanted to get out and enjoy some fishing while we're allowed and we weren't sure if we could fish here we did some scoping out through the week to make sure that it was going to be okay and so far it doesn't seem to be any issues um, but yeah, we would normally be here this time of year. It's the uh, beginning of May, and this is kind of our, our May spot. And uh, yeah, as soon as I, the lines were in, like I said, I put the camera over here. I was gonna do my little opening, and I didn't even get my butt in the seat, and the rod melted off. Uh, but as Kevin mentioned, I cast the showing fish. Uh, about 70 yards, we saw four fish jump like as soon as I put my uh, got my rod out of the rod case so I went there I would never normally fish the open water that's kind of like a goldie thing he loves fishing out there there is a rock pile out there somewhere but uh, he's had good luck out there normally Kevin and I would focus our attentions in the corner um, that's where Kevin is today the, the nature of this beach changes every year so like there was one year where the lines that we would be putting in were are where we're sitting now so because of this ever-evolving spot it's hard to pinpoint exactly where you're gonna get into them right off the bat um, but yeah we're seeing small fish where I just had that one and lost it uh, but we're seeing larger fish like we normally would over in the corner here so Kevin's gonna kind of stay over that way I'm gonna keep fishing open water just to get some bites and uh, we're gonna go from there. Today, it's gonna be beautiful. We're not quite sure the extent of how strong this wind is gonna get, but I'm already optimistic. Showing fish, already had a run. You know, the, the bird life is just amazing right now. The turkey vultures, the gulls, the ducks, the geese, everything is looking prime. Uh, saw some deer on my way in this morning, so 
I think everything everything is is here and the stage is set for a good day of catching fish. Is that my pop-up? Kevin just found my pop-up washed on washed up on the bank over there. So I, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I need to get this going. I need to get back out there and uh, yeah, we need to make this happen. Maybe it's the yellow. You're not you're using pink, aren't you? Yeah. Not not so confident in my mix today, but here we are. First fish of the morning landed. Second run. Small but incredibly healthy. Really great looking fish. We're gonna do a quick picture and then I'm gonna put the fish back. I was just about to text him here. That two minutes on that spot, so can you reach that? Oh yeah. Seagull just went 
down and got my pop up. Oh, the seagull jumped down and got my pop up. I think I think that's what it was. little bit frantic so hopefully the camera's pointed where it needs to be um, so this is now my third run and I think we've been here 30 minutes and now Kevin's just had his first run he's into the first fish so uh, it's kicking off this one's a, a better fish this one's double figure probably 11 I wouldn't give it much more than that. Solid, like the wrist of its tail is so thick. That's a, that's why this one was so much stronger. Such a better fight. Quality, quality fish. Oh, he's got a split barbel too. The barbel there, it's, it's split. That looks so cool.
first fish of the day. Melter. Yeah, it's too far right. and a couple of the other boys are fishing another location. They just got started and we've now had five fish on the bank. Um, so yeah, it's it kicked off for us. I'm, uh, I'm really happy. You know, I we may not be hitting the biggins yet, but it's early. 
it's only my second session here this year so yeah a little fish but it's bites when I really needed bites so you know I'm not gonna run the camera all day we're gonna get a couple more fish I'm gonna go over my rig and tactics in a few minutes um, but yeah it's just wonderful to be out wonderful to be able to put a few fish on the bank uh, regardless of size well, hopefully a big one will come by okay so what time will we be lines in seven because uh, yeah, I, so. I got here at 6 30 or no I got here at 6 40 so lines went in just after seven it's now 10 after eight we've had five fish on the bank and one lost at the net been good okay so do a quick rig talk yeah it's supposed to get a lot warmer today 20 degrees by tomorrow afternoon um, the only thing I'm worried about is the rain because I forgot my brawly that says possibly otherwise <laughs> Okay, so I mentioned, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned, very simple rig, what Kevin and I did last week at, uh, at another spot. Um, it's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. Usually if I'm gonna use a pack bait, I just go around the lead. Um, I'm not a huge fan of method feeders, but more and more, you know, because Kevin uses them almost exclusively, um, I find myself using them a lot more as I fish with them. So, we went with the method feeder. This is the ESP uh, 56 gram method feeder. Very simple setup, ready to go. It's just got like a little quick link clip in there. I've got some silicone over it just to uh, protect the, keep my line from coming off. Not that it ever has in the past. You know, got my braided shock leader there. <laughs> um, and then again, this is really out of the ordinary for me. I like longer hook links. I don't like fishing short and I don't like fishing without an anti-tangle sleeve um, I'm breaking all my own rules because it worked last week for that rud but also I've grown more confidence in this particular rig uh, after last summer that I, I want to kind of put more attention to it this year and that's the German rig so I've got you know very very short hook length like two inches between the method feeder and my split shot, and then three quarters of an inch to an inch to the hook, and then it's just popped up German style with a 15 mil pineapple pop-up. Um, yeah, it's, I have not had any tip-tap bumps. Kevin's had a few of those. Uh, we think it's down to our mixes being slightly different. Usually his mix is the better mix. I think I crushed him with it today. Um, by completely accidentally half asleep this morning whipping something up that actually bonded together really well and that is in my little pail here I'm really excited because I just got this little pail from carp kit um, two days ago and it's like perfect for a, a session or for a weekend of pack bait um, and all I'm doing is just taking this mix which is primarily oats large flake oats but also um, some expired steel cut oats that my wife found in the cupboard uh, a can of cream corn like a full-size can of cream corn half a can of sweet corn a little bit of rock salt and then I have three different flavors in there one of which I'll tell you because if this flavor combination really does work the way it does it, it has been I'm gonna make some pop-ups of it and we'll do that as another video. Uh, but the primary scent is strawberry, something I never catch on. Um, in, in fact, Jan will be very proud of me because he always catches on strawberry right beside me and I can never, ever get a bite on strawberry. So even though I'm using a pineapple hook bait, I deliberately put together, uh, I think this was some leftover K1, um, strawberry ice cream liquid that I had left over I think it's like the last of the K1 liquids that I have and I just I only put like a teaspoon of that into this 
I mixed it with this the cream corn before I put it into the oats and it just turned everything red like it, it it's strong too like there was hardly anything there uh, but this mix is I didn't add any water to it just the moisture from the corn was all that was needed to, uh, to bond it really really well and yeah I'm getting a run pretty much within 10 minutes um, yeah yeah I've had five runs now so yeah about every 10 minutes I'm getting a run um, I think the fastest run that came was like two and a half minutes after cast out so obviously strawberry is giving me a bit of confidence today and you see that like very little packing on my part I didn't have to push much to it and that bonded incredibly well it's a solid little ball now again something I don't normally do this is something that Kevin does uh, I'm sure you know most people that use the method feeder do this normally I will cast it out like this um, today I'm not doing that I'm actually just holding this back up on top just bedding the hook in a little bit trying to keep the point clear if I can do this right but I want my pop-up out and exposed so that the wave action and the current um, actually pull that hook away from the mix once it hits the bottom my little bit wetter stuff here and I'm just taking a little, like almost like a little patch and going over the hook eye and the hook link trying not to cover the hook point so pretty much when it hits the water that little patch falls off because it's not bonded together with the rest of it as hard as I, I packed it that comes off, hook comes away, stays up proud and yeah, bing bang boom, screaming runs now that that's set, I'm going to bomb another one out there. Um, I'm hoping that Kevin switches to yellow soon because he's running pink and he's only had the one run. And I'd like to see him get a few more. But yeah, exact same rigs. We're both running the same thing. I'm using yellow, he's using pink. I'm using my mix, he's using his, which breaks down probably three times faster. And... Uh, there is a difference so maybe what we're going to do shortly is have him switch it up or keep everything the same we'll both cast to the same spot and see who gets the run first uh, it'll be a good comparison a good test um i'm rambling again I gotta get my line back out Come up already.
Get a picture of this one for me. Yeah, thicker wrist, longer fish. My biggest one of the morning. So they're getting better. That looks like that looks like a typical fish here. Yeah, this this is like your low end of average here, normally for previous years. But uh, yeah, they're getting better out on that spot. Um, much more solid fish. I, I could feel the difference as soon as I set the hook. He came right up to the surface. He fought really, really hard compared to the other ones. So I'm, I'm really happy. I think that's uh, five landed, six runs for me. Kevin's still on one, so he's making a tactical change. And uh, hopefully we can up his numbers as well. But yeah, as I went over, very simple tactics, very, very different from my normal presentation. And uh, what a difference.
another fish, same size. Yeah, it's bigger than John's. So happy. But yeah, double header screaming runs. Uh, just trying to pinpoint the pattern. Obviously, pink wasn't working, so we both switched to the same spot, both using yellow baits, and then. Uh, yeah, immediately after a double header. So, I, I think we're gonna pretty much wrap the video up at this point. You know, I wanna get this fish back. He's gonna get his fish back. Um, he should be showing it to you now. And uh, we're gonna continue fishing for a little while longer. I think I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so stoked. So happy, what a day. Uh, I lost count. I think it's like 10 fish that we've had between the two of us. So, yeah. See you next time.